Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Vivaldi version 6.2 is finally rolling out, which was made available earlier today on the 30th of August 2023. Now, unlike the other Chromium-based web browsers, Vivaldi pushes out their version upgrades around about every 8 to 10 weeks or so, where the other Chromium-based web browsers are rolling out give or take every four weeks. So with version 6.2, just like previous releases, because of that longer release cycle, version 6.2 is packed with new features, improvements, add-ons, changes, fixes, and so on. Now, the key highlight, just to get straight into this, because there's quite a lot to get through. Uh, the key highlight with version 6.2 is what Vivaldi is calling browser windows in portal. Now, basically, what this is all about um, is that over the years, according to feedback, um, opening the opening of new windows uh, in the browser, um, according to user feedback, wasn't fast enough. And this is where this new feature is going to change that. Where with Vivaldi 6.2, according to Vivaldi, they say uh, it's a lot faster now, especially when you open a new window. And basically, this does it by rendering browser windows through React portals. Now, just to dive a little bit deeper into this, um, what they are calling the browser windows in portal. So what is portal windows and its effects? Now, according to Vivaldi, portal windows is derived from React, a JavaScript framework that allows for a more efficient sharing of running code between windows. And this code back basically dates back to 2013 and you uses React to develop its desktop user interface. So basically at the end of the day, the aim um, was to reduce memory and CPU usage so that um, Vivaldi could address bugs and implement improvements that were previously challenging or impossible. So now you can navigate tabs across different windows um, because of this code refactoring achieved through Portal, according to Vivaldi. And during internal tests, they also say that they observed a 37% improvement in the opening of new windows compared to the previous version, which is quite a substantial uh, improvement when it comes to um, opening a new window much faster. Now, I have um, fiddled around a little bit before posting, and I must be honest, I have actually noticed that um, a new window does open a little bit faster than it used to prior to this update rolling out, which um, Vivaldi says now improves opening up a new window by 30, 37%. Now, moving on to the next, we get address field suggestions, which basically prioritize the order of the drop-down menu when you are typing a search into the address bar. Now, for this, we're going to head over to the settings, uh, click on address bar, and yeah, you'll see drop down menu, uh, drop down menu priority. So you can choose now to hard categories and also select their priority. So as an example, you can uncheck the box next to each of those different categories. So as an example, if I click search suggestions and I want that to be shown uh, in the drop down menu, I can actually reorder that. So I can have the search suggestions in the order I want it to be when I type something as an example, into the address bar. So that's address field suggestions, which helps you now prioritize the order of the drop-down menu, which I actually think uh, is a nice move. Now, moving on to the next, I'm just going to mention this quickly. And uh, um, this is geolocation services that have made a comeback on macOS. So Vivaldi for macOS now matches the functionality, Vivaldi says, of its Windows counterpart, and which uses the built-in Microsoft location service. Apparently, this is useful when you want, as an example, a website to provide you with a local map, route, or suggest a nearby restaurant or hotel. So geolocation services are now available once again in Vivaldi on Mac OS. Now, here's a little feature that I'm quite happy to see, and uh, it's the clear browsing data button. So if we head over to our history uh, in the sidebar, we get this little button now, which allows you to quickly purge your recent or entire browsing history and date. So that little button now, clear browsing data button, is available now, which I actually think is a nice move if you are prone to clearing your browsing data on a regular basis. Now, something else uh, just to take note of um, is you can now, according to Vivaldi and the release notes, you can now follow YouTubers without a Google account with their feed reader now. So if you are using the feed reader, um, you don't need a Google account to follow YouTubers um, you can just do that through Vivaldi's feed reader, which also I think for some would be a nice, handy, nifty improvement in the right direction. 
Then um, moving on to the last key update, which kind of contains two improvements. And this is additions to Vivaldi Mail 1.7. Now, I personally don't use Vivaldi Mail, but there are now new mail filters, which um, aim for a better user experience, according to Vivaldi. Now, by default, they say the vertical layout now features a drop-down menu with textual descriptions, ensuring you can easily differentiate between similar-looking icons with different functionalities. But just on a side note, if you do prefer individual icons, uh, you still have the option to display them. So to do this, we head over once again back to our settings, head over to Mail, and if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see a Filter View Buttons. So obviously, um, you can customize your mail filters to suit your preferences. So you can have text menu or icons only filter uh, view buttons. So that's new mail filters now in Vivaldi Mail 1.7. And then just while we are on Vivaldi Mail, um, according to Vivaldi, you can also now log into uh, your Fastmail accounts using the OAuth login method, which at the end of the day, as many of you may know, eliminates the need for app-specific passwords. So that's support Fastmail OAuth login method, which is now available in version 6.2. Now that's uh, the key highlights, but like most releases, the change log uh, is massive and there are plenty of other additional add-ons and fixes when it comes to the actual a change log. So I'll leave a link to the change log down below if you'd like to go check that out in more detail because there's too much to get into in this video else we would be here all day but there are there is plenty else going on in version 6.2 over and above what I've mentioned in this video. Now something else to take note of um, the browser has also been upgraded to the late, latest Chromium version version 116 which has also been a long time coming. So if you want to see if you have this latest update as always we head to our main menu help check for updates and this will force the update if it hasn't done so already and if we just head back to that about page which by the way also seems to have undergone a little bit of a UR um, redesign I have noticed that things are looking a little less cluttered when it comes to the about page and yeah we can see that Chrome has also been upgraded to version 116 which is now the latest Chromium version and that will include all of the important security updates and all the other Chromium uh, improvements that have rolled out since version 116 of Chrome did roll out. So um, that will also bring a lot of security fixes to the browser, which is always a good thing. So just double check your browser's up to date. And then the actual browser has been upgraded to, as mentioned, 6.2.3105.43, which includes those key highlights and all the other improvements. So that's more or less what's new. In this latest release, Vivaldi version 6.2, which started rolling out earlier today on the 30th of August. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.